my name is Lorna Swift. I work for the Dublin SPCA Rathfarlam. I've worked for 14 years here at the shelter. I had started out as a volunteer. I did, did actually a FOSS course, and from a FOSS course I was taken on. They were looking for somebody, so they gave me employment with the animals itself. So I worked directly with the animals, cleaning and feeding and walking and all that type of thing. Then I did a little bit of ambulance driving, so we were filling in at the weekends and going out and rescuing animals. Um, then that went from a position coming up in the actual control room, which basically means that we take calls here for the ambulance drivers and the inspectors. We've done rescues here at the DSPCA that have been, you know, for want of a better word, horrific. I think the puppy farms really would be the most rewarding because you're taking dogs out of atrocious conditions um, and you're saving lives, not just the dogs that you're rescuing, but the future puppies that they may have bred. The dogs in question, you know, although they weren't the worst ill-treated dogs we've seen coming out of puppy farms, they were typical of the market that is out there at the moment because what's happening is, is people are breeding dogs purely for profit. So you're looking at, on a daily basis, possibly around an average of 10,000 pups being sold in Ireland every, every day. So you're buying a puppy that has been um, overbred, interbred, could have all sorts of genetic problems. You've no comeback from your breeder. Um, you yourself are bringing a, a, a dog into your home that could have sickness over the years and could cost you a lot of money, but also causing a lot of hardship if he dies to the children of the family, etc., etc. And the breeders do not give a hoot. You know, there are tighter regulations in the UK and Europe, um, whereas in Ireland, you can just breed and breed and breed and breed and there's nobody to stop you. You can sell a pup that, you know, may, you can tell your purchaser is vaccinated, but you have no obligation under Irish legislation to prove that it is. Whereas in the UK, you have to prove the vaccination has been given by a vet. You have to have a vaccination cert signed by the vet. We don't have anything like that at the moment, but we are working on it. Um, you know, we could be talking about 30, 40,000 dogs in rescue shelters and pounds around the country as we speak and another 10,000 on sale. You know, there aren't enough good homes. More and more people are working full time and um, they're moving to smaller accommodations such as apartments and, um, you know, so that, that restricts them from larger dogs and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, overall, there are just too many dogs. We need to cut down on the breeding so that we have we can focus on trying to get the dogs that are in the shelters and the pounds homes. And, you know, we'll get to, please God, a level where it's, you know, sustainable as opposed to the chaos that's out there at the moment. The King of Paws is basically our dog training programme. Um, what we wanted to do here at the DSPCA, rather than just saying to somebody that took a dog from us, go and get him trained. We wanted to bring a training system into the DSPCA that was going to ensure that not only was your dog going to get basic training, such as sit, stay, walk, that also your dog was going to, you were going to be able to discuss with people any behaviour problems that your dog was showing, um, you know, any things you, you know, that you weren't sure of. You can always just pick up the phone and call, you know, Alex or Cathy and King of Paws and they'll always be there for you. So if you take a dog from us, you're not walking away into the unknown. You've got backup team there. Social media, as I said, it is mostly Facebook at the moment. I know there are other social media out there, but Facebook really is the main one for the animal welfare groups at the moment. But yeah, it's been fantastic. The amount of animals that have found foster homes, forever homes, um, you know, donations being sent in, it's, it's just been great, yeah, it's been brilliant. There's never a day goes by where you can stop fundraising. You can't sit back and say, oh, sure, we've just made a few thousand on that. Let's do nothing for a month. Every day you're fundraising. It's all the time. Um, but it's also a way of bringing people up to the shelter. We want people to know where we are, you know, who we are. We want them to meet the animals. We want them to be part of the DSPCA. You know, at the end of the day, the DSPCA can do so much towards saving animals. But it's the people out there that really make the difference. So, yeah, come up. Please.